Greetings, and thanks for joining me here in Assetto Corsa again for my next mod preview video. This is, of course, part of the series of the AC Legends GTC 60s pack. I'm trying to do a video today, and it is like 9.30 at night. I'm trying to get this out <laughs> to still meet my one per day that I've been trying to do. Uh, we'll see if we get it out. The best laid plans, I swear. Whenever you commit to something uh, when you're a content creator, it almost never works out. So... Uh, yes, I'm really excited to try this car. I <laughs> really love this little Austin Healy 3000 lightweight. I think it's going to be a ton of fun. So we'll start there and we'll take a couple laps and see what it's like. All right, we're here at Mount Panorama. And that is because if I, when I looked up the history, the racing history of this car, it said it ran here. So I'm like, well, this is going to be perfect. And I am not disappointed. This car is, the, the, the amount of fun that this car is, is absurd. Like, the Corvette for me, and this car, like, neck and neck. But the Corvette does it in a completely different way. Oh, I gotta make the turn here. This car is alive. It's constantly moving. Uh, it doesn't, it never feels settled. But it's not in an annoying way. You've got so much control over the rear tire spin. Because it'll spin the rear tire no problem coming through corners. But this is... When I watch the guys drive these cars at Goodwood. And the amount of wheel and back and forth that they're putting in the car. and I just imagine this car driving something like this it's just so much fun you know like i said the corvette does it in a different way this car it just feels alive you're you're kind of just guiding it <laughs> where you want it to go and it's like yeah i know you want me to stay to this side or that side or you want me to go to that direction but it kind of feels like it wants to go the other direction and so you just do this dance with the car and i love cars like this you know i love cars that you can wring the guts out of it and it's stuck to the track and man you can really overdrive the car but i also oh i'm gonna run out of gear i've tried both gear sets and i need a little bit more gear to keep up with these guys but the uh the way you drive this car you you overdrive it but in a completely different way i i just i can't adequately adequately describe i'm tripping over my words here but i can't adequately describe how much fun this car is to wrestle around a track you know i'm i'm out here we're racing against the Bizzarini, the Corvette, and then the 250 GTO. So this is part four. So I've got four cars on the track. And like I said, I wanted to get, you know, excluding the weekend, I was trying to get a video out a day on these, this car. And I don't know if I'm going to make it today. But regardless, I, I know I... I knew I had to try this car for you guys because the way the other cars were handling, I could only imagine what this car was going to drive like. The AI is not very well optimized here. I could fix it if I wanted to. Um, but that's not really the purpose of this video. The purpose is having fun with this car. And I've just, you've got to try this car on the circuit. It just, it never settles down. It's always moving. <laughs> it's great. It is always just like searching for, I don't know what. Oh, that was not smart. Oopsie. I needed to shift down way earlier. It's really hard to do this and talk at the same time at the top of the mountain. <laughs> the car will get away from you incredibly easy. It's it's so soft, but 
when the car leans, like the way it's done in the sim, you can really feel the car lean over on the front end and it really gives you a almost too much confidence that you know what the car is going to do because there's a point where they're could the, the car the, 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 the car geez I'm so excited it's hard to talk but the car reaches out and says you don't quite know how to hustle hustle me yet and it smacks you and you spin out or you hit the fence or you do something silly but hands down, what a great job that Batsa and the, and the crew have done with the car. Just, I can't believe how much fun this car is. It's like I said, it's neck and neck with the Corvette. And if you like cars, I mean, it, it just... It changes direction really well, but it, it's everything is just moving. <laughs> it nah, doesn't quite stay still, and that's a little bit of the track. I realize that, like a you know, that's a little bit of Mount Panorama in there, but still, it, it just doesn't matter because this car would still do this on other circuits. Maybe to not the degree it's doing it here, but. I don't care. It's just, it's incredibly fun. So I think that's going to do it. I appreciate everybody so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying these, this style of preview where, you know, it's not often you get to feature cars. When you, when you go for a pack like this, you kind of get just like an info dump. And I really wanted to try something different and just highlight the car itself in each video so you really get a good understanding of what the cars are like. Like I said, we're probably not going to get through the whole pack before it releases because it sounds like they're getting close. But uh, regardless... Oh my goodness. Oh. See what I mean? Doesn't matter. This car is incredibly fun. So again, thank you all so much for watching. You've been great. I've been strange. Take care. And I will catch you in the next video. I'm going to have to call a record now.